Welcome back for another session of Quranic Arabic. The, today's words, uh, inshallah, are very interesting words, and again, we are using the most frequently repeated words in the Holy Quran. Inshallah, soon uh, we are going to move. Uh, the class using the same idea but with another focus and this focus will be the surahs of the Quran we will take for example Surah Al-Fatiha and study its vocabulary the small surahs study its vocabulary and like that so now we are moving from frequently repeated words in the Quran to frequently repeated surahs and segments of the Quran and perhaps some dua and hadith, inshallah. It's the same idea, but we are going to shift the focus to an entire surah so we can have a, a grasp of its entire meaning, inshallah ta'ala. The first word for today is the verb ja'ala. Ja'ala. Let's write it down. Ja'ala. And this word means made in the past uh, tense, placed or set. Ja'ala. This verb is frequently used in the Quran. And many times Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala combines it with the word khalaqa. Khalaqa and ja'ala. So khalaqa. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about al-khalq and khalaqa, He talks about the very design of the thing. That's how it was made up, designed. But ja'ala, it talks more often about the function of the thing. Ja'ala. Made, placed, or set. As we will see, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in one ayah, وَجَعَلَ الظُّلُمَاتِ nur. So the two following words are Dhulumat and Nur. Dhulumat comes from the word Dhalam. What does it mean? Darkness. Dhulumat or Dhalam. Dhalam is one, Dhulumat is the plural. Dhulumat. Starts with a letter Dha. Dhu. Lu. Mat. Dhulumat. The plural of the word Zalam, which means darkness. وَجَعَلَ الظُّلُمَاتِ What else? Allah set forth or placed? An nur Let me write it without the Al. <coughs> so it becomes more general. Nur. Nur. In Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allahu waliyu alladheena amanu. Allah is the ally, the defender of those who believe. Alladheena amanu. Yukhrijuhum, he takes them out. Mina al-dhulumati ila al-nur. Remember the word ila? Who remembers the word ila? We covered it. Ila means? Final destination. Final destination. To. Mina means? From. Allahu waliyu alladheena amanu. Allah is the wali the defender of those who believe يُخْرِجُهُمْ He takes them out Mina from الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ Allah takes those who believe from the darkness into the light When we talk about darkness and light in the heavens, in the skies في السماوات we see Planets and stars. How do we say the word star or stars? There is a surah called Surah Star, Najm. So Najm is one, Nujum is several. Najm means star, Nujum means stars. 
So let's write them down. Najm. Najm. Star. Nujum. No. Jum. Stars. Star. Stars. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al Najm, Wan Najmi Ida Hawa. Wan Najmi Ida Hawa. Star. Very good. So Ja'ala means? Made, placed, set. Volumat, darkness. Noor, light. And now we have singular and plural, Najm and Nujum, star and stars. Our following frequent repeated word in the Quran has to do with hearing and seeing. Hearing and seeing. And also we are going to talk about singular and plural because both of them are widely used in the Quran. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran talks about the hearing, the human hearing that He gave us that ability and He talks about it as a great bounty for us, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls it Samma. 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 سمع سين ميم عين سمع from which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has derived his own name الأسماء الحسنى Allah's name is what? السميع سميع the one who hears everything سميع ها Frequently, this word is combined with Al-Alim. وَهُوَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he was building the Kaaba with Ismail alayhi salam, he was praying, رَبَّنَا تَقَبَّلْ مِنَّا إِنَّكَ أَنْتَ السَّمِيعُ الْعَلِيمُ You are the one who hears the prayer. Matter of fact, the ulama say that the name Ismail comes from the verb سَمِعَ which means to hear and El referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ancient languages. So Ismail is Allah heard the dua of Ibrahim alayhi salam. So Sama means hearing. Samia referring to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the one who hears everything. By the same token, we talk about vision. Vision is what? Uh, one, when we talk about the vision of the human being, we use the word Absar, Absar, that is the word used in the Quran. Absar, the plural of Basar. So Basar is one, Absar is plural. So the one that is used in the Quran is Absar. Absar, which means vision, the ability to see, vision. From which the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is derived. Basir. Allah is Al Basir. <coughs> Allah is Basir. So again, Samma, hearing, the ability to hear in a human being or in the creation. But Allah is Samia, the one who hears absolutely everything. Uh, in the dua, لا يشغله سمع عن سمع. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala will not be occupied hearing some of His creation from hearing the other part of the creation. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala hears the entire creation at once. If all the creation stood up and called on Allah Subhanahu wa Taala and asked for their needs specifically and precisely, Allah will hear all the creation. Plus the insects, plus the birds, plus those who are, th you know, thinking. All that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hears it. Sama, samia, absar. Please remember that absar is plural. 
its singular which rhymes with sama is basar basar is vision absar is the plural of vision uh, because we are constantly like taking pictures of what's going on so it's plural absar sama samia absar basir almost halfway then we go to the exercises inshallah also allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talks about the ability to understand to comprehend to learn to use the information that comes to us through as sam and al basar allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that he gave us the ability of the understanding and the faculty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala names in the Quran for that is Al-Fu'ad. Al-Fu'ad. So Fu'ad and the plural is f e -da. Literally in Arabic means heart, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses it in the Quran as the faculty to understand and comprehend. Fu'ad, the plural is f e -da. So let's write it down. Fuad is one. Is a Hamza here? Fuad. And the plural is F Ida. F Ida. Fuad. F -ida. Again, what does it mean? Heart, literally in the Arabic, hearts. But Allah uses it as the faculty of comprehension and understanding in the human being. Very good. Now we are going to move to another set of words that go together. We are halfway today of our vocabulary set. And the first one is a combination of two words. The first one is khair. <coughs> Khairun min. So the word khair by itself means goodness or if you are comparing two things you say hadha khayrun min hadha khayrun min becomes an expression that means better than khair by itself means goodness min by itself means from but when we combine both of them we have an expression to compare things khayrun min better than you say this car is better than this car. هذه السيارة خير من هذه السيارة. هذا القلم خير من هذا القلم. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, ليلة القدر خير من ألف شهر. Is better than a thousand months. So if we take the word. Alf, what does it mean then? Alf? Thousand. Thousand. Huh? Laylatul Qadri Khairun min Alf. Thousand. One thousand. And the word Shahr? Means month. Shahr. Khairun min Alfi Shahr. Okay. Two words also that are related to each other is the word big and the word bigger, bigger than. The word big is kabir. Kabir. 
كبير كبير big but Allah سبحانه وتعالى uses this word as a comparison word and the word that is derived to do that is أكبر أكبر So Kabir is big, Akbar is bigger than. Kabir is big and Akbar is bigger than. Two more words and we are done inshallah. Three more words actually. The word Jami'a, Jami'a. Jamia. Jamia is related to the word Jama'a. Jamia means everybody. So somebody comes in and says, Assalamu ala al Jamia. I'm giving salam to all of you all together. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> The word that is used frequently in the Quran is Jami'a. Jami'a. So when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, As-Samawat wal-Ard Jami'a, it means heavens and earth all together and all what they contain. Two more words, inshallah. The word Haya is the opposite. Haya is the opposite of the word death. Maut means death and haya means life. Alladhi khalaq al-mawta wal-hayata. The one who created death and life. So haya means life. And the last word for today is a helping word which means accept. And that word is, means another color is the word illa 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 means accept or but an exception to what has been said la ilaha there is no god illa except allah no there is no god but Allah, accept Allah. La ilaha illallah. So Kabir, Akbar, big, bigger. And in the Adhan, we say Allahu Akbar, which means that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is telling us to be actively comparing what we are doing with, with the Salah. So when the Muadhan says Allahu Akbar, he is telling us, whatever you have in your hand, whatever is occupying you, Allah is Akbar, Allah is bigger. So come to the Salah. Huh? Allahu Akbar, Allah is bigger. Jami'a or Jami'a means collectively, all. Haya is the opposite of maut, which means life, and maut means death, and we have the word illa means accept. So let's review quickly before we go to the examples and finish inshallah. We reviewed the verb ja'ala. What was the meaning of ja'ala? Ja'ala, made, placed, or set. Then we talked about the two uh, words, nur and dhulumat. Nur is light. Dhulumat, darkness. Very good. We talked about things that we see in the darkness. In the dhulumat, we see at night, we see the stars. Najm, one star. Nujum, Stars, Najm, Nujum. Then we talked about the faculties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us as He uses them in the Quran. We talked about Samma, hearing, the, the faculty of hearing, the ability to hear. But Allah is Samia. We talked about Basar or Absar. Allah is Al Basir. Then we talked about the faculty to comprehend things, to understand things, which is Fu'ad, and the plural is Af'idah. Fu'ad, Af'idah. Then we talked about uh, comparison words. We talked about Khayrum Min. What does it mean? 
Khairun min. Better than or, uh, well, in English we don't say gooder, but if we want to translate it literally, we say gooder. <laughs> Khair is good, khairun min is gooder, but in correct English is better than. Very good. And we talked about kabir and akbar. Kabir is big, akbar is bigger than. We also talked about uh, some words that are linked in the Quran with khairun min, and that is the word alf, which means thousand. Shahar means month. Very good. And we talked about the word jami'a, jami'a, collectively, all together. And we talked about the word haya, which is the opposite of the word maut. Haya means life. life and maut means death. And finally, we talked about the exception word in the sentences, which is the word illa, which means except or but. Very good. Let's go to some examples, inshallah, and uh, check your ability to translate the ayat directly from the Arabic. The first example is to highlight, use the color code, the new words. Okay, who would like to read? All praise to Allah. No, reading first, Arab. Very good. One more time. Alhamdulillah, Ladi Jaala Gulumati Wanur. Alhamdulillah means all praise is due to Allah. Alladi, we covered this word before. What was the meaning of Alladi? The one who, right? The one who. Alladhi. What is the plural of Alladhi? That Allah uses it with the believers all the time. Alladhina, ya ayyuha alladhina amanu. Singular Alladhi, the one who. Alladhina, the ones who. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu. So praise is due to Allah, the one who. Ja'ala. Placed or made. What did he make? Al-Dhulumat. Wa and an nur, the light. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, without these two things, your life will not be straight. Without darkness and the day, light. Alhamdulillah, the one who made the heavens and the earth, and made the light and the nur. Alhamdulillah, there's some part missing here. Alhamdulillah, the one who made the heavens and the earth, وَجَعَلَ الظُّلُمَاتِ وَالنُّورِ This is the complete ayah. الحمد لله الذي خلق السماوات والأرض وجعل الظلمات والنور. So all praise is due to Allah, the one who created heavens and earth, and He placed or made darkness and light. Okay. Be consistent.
وهو الذي خلق لكم ما في السماوات والأرض جميعا. Who would like to translate? وهو. What is the meaning of هو? And he is. هو is the pronoun he. وهو and he is الذي the one خلق لكم what does لكم mean لكم for you very good so لكم for you the calf and the meme indicate what indicate second person in plural Li, Laka, Lakum. So for you. Wahua Ladi Khalaka Lakum, Ma fi Samawati wal Ard. What does Ma mean here? We covered this before. Ma means three things. It, it either means negation of something. Jaa Muhammad? No. Ma Jaa Muhammad. He did not come. And it also means الذي. It's used as the meaning of الذي. So in this case, it's used like الذي. And he is the one that created for you whatever is in heavens and earth all together. So whatever is in the heavens and the earth was created for us. All together. وهو الذي خلق لكم ما في السماوات والأرض جميعا. Why we call سماوات سماوات isn't it sky or why we say heaven? So what? Well, it depends how you translate it. Some people translate it as heavens and others as skies. Yeah. سماء is one. سماوات is plural. Okay, let's go to another example. Okay, let's try this one. La khalqu samawati wal ardi akbaru min khalqin nas. Again, there are some letters and some variations of the words that you are going to see there. That's why we are saying that in this course, if you figure out from 90 to 95%, this is the objective. We know that there are some little variations. So what do you think? La khalqu samawati wal ard. What does this mean? La khalqu samawati wal ard. Something about the creation of heavens and earth is what? Akbar. What does akbar mean? Greater than? Man can. Min Is greater than the creation of? Man. The creation of heavens and earth is bigger than the creation of? Mankind. Make sense? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, لَخَلْقُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ أَكْبَرِ 
min khalq nas uh, some scholars say if you go to the beach and start counting sand particles, there are more stars and planets in the universe than sand particles on the beach. Akbar. <laughs> something beyond imagination. Uh, bring somebody here and tell them I'm giving you a hundred balls, you know, soccer balls or baseball balls, whatever, you know. And you, and you tell, okay, control them all at the same time. Just one hundred. Again, I can't. Impossible. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala controls zillions, zillions of planets and stars. Mm. Everything. You know, you come in the AC, your body reads the temperature and lowers the inside temperature. I mean, uh, higher is the inside temperature to maintain it in, in 37. You go out, it's extremely hot in summer. Your body reads the temperature and it brings it back down to 37. So your thermostat is constantly working. And you, you don't even think about it. Allah is controlling that. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, la khalqu samawati wal ardi akbaru min khalq nas. Certainly. This lamb, before the word khalq, means certainly. It's another word to say certainly. Certainly the creation of heavens and earth is bigger than the creation of mankind. Okay, two more examples and we will finish inshallah. وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْئِدَةِ This ayah in the Quran starts by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says وَهُوَ الَّذِي أَخْرَجَكُمْ مِنْ بُطُونِ أُمَّهَاتِكُمْ He is the one who brought you out from the wombs, the bellies of your mothers. وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفْئِدَةِ Qalila ma tashkuru. Waja'ala means place or made. Lakum for you. Lakum for you. What? Sam'a, the ability to hear. Wal absar, the ability to see. Wal afida, the hearts, which is the ability or the faculty to understand. وَجَعَلَ لَكُمُ السَّمْعَ وَالْأَبْصَارَ وَالْأَفِيدَةِ And the last example. In Surah Al-Mulk, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَبَارَكَ الَّذِي بِيَدِهِ الْمُلْكُ وَهُوَ عَلَى كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ الَّذِي
الذي خلق الموت والحياة الذي means the one or the one who hmm? the one who خلق created الموت والحياة why ليبلوكم أيكم أحسن عملا the ulama say notice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned death before life why the ulama say many reasons number one to remind us that death comes for sure right. remember your death before your life <laughs> the other thing is because we were dead we were nothing and Allah brought us back to life so we were dead and then we became alive that's why in another ayah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the unbelievers will say Rabbana ahyaytana thnataini wa amattana thnatain you uh, made us die or we were dead twice and we were alive twice uh, we were dead came to life and we dead die then we go back to life twice and twice may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you the barakah jazakumullahu khairan wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh